Bichette. Bichette three for ten in his career against Proper with a home run. And the Blue Jays are happy to have this guy back in. He'll have more in the major leagues by a wide margin. And there's another one. And that's kind of a good approach against Fromber is using the other field and both sides. Here's Justin Turner. Turner takes a strike. And he was with the Mets for four years. So ground and foul to him too. Fromber gets a little tapper that'll go foul. That one shot the other way. There was nothing offensively. We thought we were going to be talking about home runs, first wins for a manager. I and, and there are things you can't overlook. You have to talk about it, but you know when. Over the head of Bregman, Jordan's going to have to hustle to get this ball back in because Bichette's going to want to score. They're waving him around. The throw to Bregman. His throw home. It'll be it. Those last year, matching the Rangers for the most in baseball. Altuve sends the first pitch he sees to straightaway center field. Hit it about 390 feet, but cuts. These guys take a lot of pride in that ability, too. Astros getting aggressive, two pitches and two outs if David Schneider puts it away, which he does. York, because Renel Blanco was masterful. It was an interesting. Obviously, Tucker going oppo his first time up, and Yana going up. Got a 1 1 count here. That's that new one in this first start. That ball's hit hard, but caught by the second baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefe, in the webbing. As going one in Yankee Stadium and one in the World Series. Robert Valdez last year had no hitter, 25 year old outfielder. Last year played mostly second base. He goes down on three pitches. That is quick work for Robert. Now Robert facing Alejandro Kirk. And Mauricio Dubon had to charge and make a nice play to get Kirk. One of the closest. Blue Jays to a Chaz was under that one. Kirk. It was a thing of beauty to see Ronell Blanco in control from the start. We put a number on a guy, maybe 90 to 95 pitches for a guy like Ronell. And then you start to watch a little bit. Good pitch. That's curveball down. For Here's Ernie Clement. Take it. He's a kind of surprised from her a little bit with how well his two seams run. Ground ball to Bregman. Alex makes the throw across. So two strikeouts and a ground off the second inning. Jose Barrios only needed six pitches in the first inning. And he gets a first pitch swing here from Alex Bregman, who grounds one sharply to Bobas. And I mean, it might be kind of nice after a no hit, a night like last night, because him in rhythm and keep him pitching well, that he kind of started to feel it towards the eighth and ninth, making him a better catcher, which is a lot of fun to watch because. I believe the bat's going to be a trade, except yeah. for they felt like his defense needed a lot of work at that point. And to his credit, his way's up, way well, up. Your street cred goes up, too. It was a 3 0. Barrios on a full count pitch gets another ground ball at Bo Bichette. 2 6 to 3. A lot of matchups between these two through the years, as you can imagine, with at bats and a 300 lifetime average for Jose against this right hander. But it the advantage as of late. Out on play. Barrios, last five meetings in ERA below two and a half. And it's tap foul. One day's on the calendar. That one bouncing wide and second. Foul tip caught. Collective 1.84 ERA. They have been struggling in that first start. Those numbers still extremely good for the Houston Astros starting rotation. Here's Isaiah Kiner Falefa leading. Kiner Falefa down in the count 0 and 2. You may have seen those numbers against Fromber. He has paid bullpen, but the bullpen gave up all the majority of those runs. Starting rotation did great. Another lefty of Daniel Vogelbach also on the bench. We haven't seen him yet in this series. Kiermaier swings of the first pitch. Diego. A one pitch grabbing towards Altuve. He'll go to second for one. Pena's return. They get the double play. Of the night. Here's George Springer. That's to short. 
Pena will make the play, and that'll do it for the Blue Jays in the third. So base runner tonight, Jose Barrios, has sent down the first six. He'll face Chaz McCormick, Jeremy Pena, and Victor Caratini. Both pitchers early on looking very sharp. That's what you would start getting days off and guys getting pushed back and starts and start to when they're on their game a run or two might loom large Chaz loops one into right and Chaz has a six for nine career mark against Jose Barrios he's going for two a little over a if you will he was mostly in center field when he was with the Astros but he the night for Pena last night hitting his first home run this one a little tapper back to the mound glove there by Barrios will throw out to and sitting next to you and calling Christian Javier's no hitter and reminisce about the old no hitter. So I had a blast that day. And that was where it was happening. I might be one of those people. <laughs>